Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make an automatic remote control gate opening and closing system with the help of Arduino and RF modules. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, where you can order 5 pieces of 10 by 10 cm PCB is just in $2. Nowadays you can avail their free assembly services. You have to pay PCB and component price, but the assembly service will be totally free. You can get more detail about PCB assembly service on this page. One more interesting thing is that now you can order 3D printed parts for your custom projects. Starting from just one US dollar. So you can get more detail about 3D printing and their technologies on this page. After a few days I got our PCBs from JLC PCB. This one is control board PCB. As you can see the build quality is perfect as always. This one is remote control PCB. And uh, this PCB will be used to join the output of both relays to make an H-bridge configuration. Now I will collect all components that are required to complete these all PCBs. Here are all the components that are required to complete our PCBs. So first of all here are two relay modules, DAA2 power transistor, two three terminal blocks, some male and female header pins, two NRF 24L01 RF modules, a 3mm LED, a small on off switch, five two terminal blocks, a DC power jack, two 220 microfarad capacitors, five tactile buttons, two 1 kilo ohm resistors and seven 10 kilo ohm resistors, a five volt voltage regulator and two Arduino Nano. So now I will solder all these components to our PCBs. You can find more detail about these components in video description. Ok guys, so component soldering is done as you can see here. Now we will collect all other materials that are required to complete this project. So guys these are all the things that are required to complete this project. So first of all here are two limit switches, a solenoid lock and here are two relay modules, some screws, here I 3d printed a case for the remote control, here are two decorations for the gate pillars, here is a motor holder and here is a linear gear and a small gear. Here is a DC gear motor and here are two parts that will be used to hold the gate in place. I will tell you later about them. And here are our PCBs. Here are some pieces of cardboard so we will use them as a wall. Here are two small pieces of wood that will be used as a gate pillars. Here is a long piece of wire so it will help to keep the gate in one position with the help of these two parts and this piece of wood will be used as a gate 
and uh, this is the main piece which will be used to construct our project on it here i would like to say thank you to banggood.com for sending me this beautiful rechargeable drill machine it came with two speed settings and 25 torque settings it has a 5 cell rechargeable battery for long backup time here is a button to change the direction of rotation and uh, here are leds for uh, battery indication battery charging indication and uh, here is a bright led to work in dark conditions it came with really smooth and stepless speed regulation okay guys so first of all this piece will be connected here with the help of this long screw and this second piece will be connected here now this piece of wire will be connected here with the help of these small screws now these two pieces will be connected here like this with the help of this double sided tape and now our gate will slide like this now this gear will be connected here i am connecting it with the help of double sided tape but you can also use wood screws now this motor will go here like this and uh, this gear will be connected here and now this thing will be connected here with the help of these screws our walls will be connected here with the help of hot glue like this okay guys our gate and wall installation is now complete i connected solenoid lock here so it will prevent the gate to opening from outside without remote control i connected this piece of wood here to extend the space for the pcbs so this control board pcb will be connected here and uh, these relay modules will be connected here and this pcb will be connected here so after connecting these pcbs i will make wiring connections and after that i will tell you details about those wiring connections okay guys so finally all the wiring connections are now complete these wiring connections are very simple so i think anyone with some basic knowledge of electronics can do these wiring connections very easily let me explain a little bit here so first of all you can see here the relay module outputs are connected with this circuit with the help of these straight jumper wires you can see here
and uh, these relay module wires signal wires are connected here with this control board this is first relay and uh, this is second relay so as you can see here relay 1 so these wires are connected with this relay 1 module and uh, similarly the output of this module is connected with this point you can see here and uh, same for the second relay module here you can see this is the first limit switch and uh, here this one is second limit switch you can see here first limit switch wires are connected with this terminal and uh, second limit switch wires are connected with this terminal and solenoid lock wires are connected with this terminal you can see marking on PCB and this motor wires are connected with this terminal and this terminal will be used to connect the input power for the motor this section is completely isolated from the control board so I am using 5 volt motor here but in real life application you will need to connect a large motor here so you can connect any large DC gear motor up to 1000 watts here with this system and uh, obviously for that you will need a suitable power supply keep in mind that uh, only DC motor will work with this setup AC motor or AC power supply will not work now we will assemble our remote control so this is the casing for remote control I 3D printed it and this circuit will go here like this and uh, now we will attach this USB power cable with this remote control and uh, now we will close it with the help of this thing and these screws Okay guys, so now it's time to burn the Arduino codes. So here are the Arduino codes for our project. This one is control board code and uh, this one is remote control code. So you will need to install these libraries to make this code work with your system. This address should be same for uh, both codes. Basically this is a kind of password for our system so these both values should be same for remote and control board if these values are different then the system will not work so you can make multiple remotes with this address to control the gate you can find more details about the code in video description okay guys so after installation of arduino codes here i made a final setup for our project so i connected this circuit with this 5 volt power supply source and uh, this circuit with this 12 volt separate power supply source here you can see the remote control I made this remote control USB powered so you can easily connect it with USB socket of your car so let me power it on you can see here are five buttons on the remote control open and close button auto open and uh, auto close button and stop button so these two buttons will only work until we press and hold them this button will open the gate only with one press and uh, this button will close the gate only with single press and this button can stop the gate at any position during these auto open and close function so now let me operate the gate and show you the working As you can see gate is only opening while I press and hold the button.
now the gate is fully opened and similarly gate is only closing while i press and hold the close button now gate is fully closed and locked so now i will press this auto open button and you will see that full gate will be automatically opened and similarly we can close it with single press of this button if gate is automatically opening and we want to stop it we can press this button let me show you So guys that's it for today's video all necessary information about this project you can find in the video description i hope you will like my this project share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe